So all of the metals mix together pretty easily, with the exception of the lithium. You need to get to very high temperatures before that does mix with the others. Uh, but what about hydrogen? Well, hydrogen reacts with the metals. We can have the, uh, show the chemical equation for this. We have lithium reacting with hydrogen, and it forms lithium hydride. Similarly, sodium reacts with hydrogen, and it forms sodium hydride. In all these reactions, every reaction that you're going to see, if we're starting with the metal, during the reaction, the metal loses its one outermost electron and so forms a positive ion. So here we started off with neutral sodium, Na, and we're ending up with Na+. And in this case, it's given the electron to hydrogen and formed the hydride ion. So this is a chemical reaction now where, lithium, uh, where sodium here combines with hydrogen. Well, I can show you the properties of sodium hydride. We have some in a tube here. Sodium hydride is a fine powder, very, very reactive, and watch what happens as soon as it comes into contact with water. So we have a tray of water here, and I'm just going to blow some sodium hydride onto the water. As soon as it comes into contact, it reacts. But what's the chemical equation taking place there? Look at the reaction here. We have our sodium hydride reacting with water, and it's forming sodium hydroxide, and hydrogen gas. Now, could that reaction be at all useful? Well, it could be useful. It could be a means of providing hydrogen gas. And, in fact, there was a taxi in London a few years back that was run off of hydrogen gas generated by the reaction of sodium hydride with water. So this could be used as a means of storing hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is very, very flammable. And so uh, how are we going to store it? We could compress it, but then we'd be having cylinders of hydrogen gas. Well, one method that was suggested was using sodium hydride. So Mark is going to add some sodium hydride. It's all wrapped up in a gauze. So this should sink to the bottom of the beaker here before it reacts on the surface. There we are, lovely. So this is now sunk to the bottom. Bubbles are forming, and this is the hydrogen gas. So remember, sodium hydride reacts with water to form hydrogen gas. And the hydrogen gas is, of course, flammable. There we are. So just generate a few more. And so I say, this was actually used to power a taxi using the hydrogen gas here as the fuel. It's a clean, environmentally friendly fuel, because when it burns, all we get is water.